What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Melican Fishing. The temperature dropped about 40, 50 degrees since the last time we filmed. It's actually 25 degrees outside right now. Went to total garbage over the last week. I actually went out to a local Omaha lake yesterday. Not only did I not catch a fish, I did not get a bite. So, naturally, we're gonna go fishing today because it's a little bit colder and we didn't catch anything yesterday. Sounds like a great plan. You know, wind's blowing about 20 miles an hour, so there's a real good ripple on the lake. From my experience here, that'll actually help us out a little bit, and that might be our only saving grace. At least it's not slick calm. Either I'm gonna catch some fish or I'm gonna catch hypothermia. I should catch something though, so stay tuned. Try the old jerk and stick. Come on, fish. Hop on my jerk and stick. There's one. Ah, pulled off. Damn it. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. And he's hooked stupid. Come here, buddy. Nice. Hey, I'll take that all day. Look at that guy. He was not active at all, though. He just flipped around down there, wasn't even fighting. Nice fish, probably over three pounds. Nice way to start. Let's get you back in the water before you turn into an ice cube, like me. There's one. A lot smaller. There he is, Andrew Flair fish. Dead gum stud. But hey, we're figuring something out. I like it. See ya. There's one. Another flare fish. I just flat out haven't caught a lot of fish in this lake this size. Oh, there's one. Oh, it feels better. Ooh. Get in here. Two pounder, not bad. On the 106 DD. Take him all day. Alright, I apologize for not shooting. Sure. It's windy out here and downright cold. I think we got something figured out. All the way with the jerk baits and the man made jetties. The problem is there's only about 10 on the lake, so we're going to have to rotate through those. Maybe get some new water along the way. Uh, but they really seem to be in the jerk bait well. Usually been pausing about four or five seconds and we'll just kind of slip away with it for that one or two second mark. We're gonna go ahead and do that a little bit more. There's one. Yay! Just a flare fish, but at least I didn't scare them all away. Where is the big ones? See ya. <laughs> Sight fished him. That was pretty cool. Too bad it's a little guy. I saw him come up and eat it. Clown. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Oh, that's a lot better one. Oh yeah. Stay down, baby. Come here. That's right. Now we got right. Thought I was snagged for a second. Another three pounder or so. You weren't getting off there, were you? Oh man, that feels better. Getting a quality bite like that. Oh, and the hook in the finger. That doesn't feel better. Finally, quality fish. Let's get 
another one. All right, back to the deep stuff. Put a little Bass Dynasty on this guy, the garlic, so a little bit of that can't hurt when they're this finicky. Let's see if we can get one now. There's one. Oh, that's a freaking hammer. Yep. Come smile for the camera. Not right there though. Come on, let's get you in here. Oh, hell yeah, that's what's up. That thing is a stud. That thing is probably every bit of four and a half, five pounds right there. Think he's been eating well? Look at that. All right, big girl, let's get you back in the water. Get you swimming away. There you go. See you soon. Now we're cooking. Let's go get another one. Oh, another one. Maybe this is a money spot right here. Right there. Right on the rocks. Oh, yep. Not another good one. Not as good. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Another good two and a half or so. Nice one. That one I didn't even feel bite. He was just there. That's about how active they are right now, too. Not very. As thick as these fish are, you think you get one of these 21, 22 inch fish, you might be able to get a six or seven pounder. If there's two in there, there's probably more. Yep. Yep, that feels good. Plenty heavy. It's staying down. Oh yeah, good one. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come here. That's another fatty. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. There's another four and a half to five pounds. Man, it's thick. Get her back in the water. Catch another one. So that's three times through there. Five pounder, two and a half, and a four and a half to five pounder. This spot does not suck. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shoot. That one feels big too. Yep. Oh yeah, biggest one. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Look at that one. That one is every bit of five pounds right there on one little rock pile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that guy. How beautiful is that? Oh God, that's never, that never, ever, ever gets old. Let you go. Can't even get my jig to the bottom of the lake before one eats it. Let's say they're fired up a little bit now. Oh, I'm shaking. And not just because it's 17 below zero right here. Oh, kidding me? Another one popped it. Well, things slowed down on the money spot, so we're gonna hit one more spot on the way back to the ramp. Uh, one of those old jetties, see if maybe we can catch one on a jerk bait. Then we're gonna get out of here.
All right, guys, just got off the water. Uh, honestly, about as productive a day as I could ask for. Ended up with a decent limit, probably 21 pounds, 22 pounds or so. Had four or five real good fish, two or three other decent ones. And the fish were really set up like you would think they would. You could see down four or five feet in the water. And so obviously after a, a cold front, water was down mid forties. Um, my first thought was to pick up a jerk bait. And once I figured out where the wind was blowing into some of those man-made jetties uh, with the deeper, the steeper drop-offs off the jetties, obviously a great place to throw this uh, Six Sense 106 DD. Perfect jerk bait for that scenario. And then later on the day, I figured out uh, I finally got on a spot where there was some active fish and once I triggered one of them uh, it set the whole school on fire and I caught a fish every cast or had a bite every cast for about the next eight casts and that's on a simple little football jig nothing special about this one it's trimmed down to a finesse head uh, this is a three quarter ounce those were my two baits today uh, check down the description I'll put a link to every bait I used as always please like comment let me know what you want to see moving forward on my videos if you want to see more vlogs vlog style stuff or if you want to see some unboxing uh, hopefully be fishing several more times this fall and get out it needs to warm up a little bit though I'm gonna go hang out with my wife and my buddy Mark and I will see you guys soon thanks a ton for watching